Today on Earth Focus, birth control for elephants. Some parks in Africa have found a new way to save elephants. Jeff Barbie reports from South Africa, coming up on Earth Focus. Long trunks swaying and gray skin covered in mud, elephants roam through the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Population pressure and poaching have contributed to the decimation of Africa's most famous beasts. And those that are left are fenced in reserves and parks like these that restrict their former movement. 58% of the estimated 300,000 elephants left live in reserves in southern Africa. Once safely behind a fence, they multiply quickly. This puts large and small reserves in a delicate situation. Elephants eat about 140 to 250 kilograms of trees and grass per day and can double their numbers in 10 years or less. They were meant to roam vast distances, but inside fenced reserves, their unrestricted growth can wipe out forests and terraform the land quickly. South Africa and most other countries cull elephant herds that they see outgrowing their limited parks. They then seek to sell the ivory legally in one-off sales like this one from inside Kruger National Park in 2008. As disturbing as these file images are, many rangers and park officials have always thought that there was no other way to control them. Now, after 14 years of painstaking development, researcher Audrey Delsink finally has a solution. Birth control on an elephantine scale. The flagship program that we have here at Makalali is the immunocontraceptive program, and that's specifically looking at a, an alternative means of population control with regards to elephants. Delsink has successfully controlled the breeding cycle of a herd of elephants for 14 years, returning females back to full fertility while avoiding any changes in behavior. Well, immunocontraceptive is a very um, simple process. Basically, it works on your body's immunity. When you introduce the vaccine to the elephant, what happens is her body sees it as a foreign substance, and so automatically, as a response, it produces antibodies against this vaccine. Well, the antibodies then actually um, change the shape of the receptor sites around the egg cell, and so when the sperm comes along, he can't bind to his own receptor sites, and therefore fertilization cannot occur. Birth control for a population of animals that is still under threat from poachers and ivory traders seems counterintuitive. But if reserves that maintain Africa's elephants are given another management tool instead of expensive relocation or outright killing, then conservation officials believe more elephants will be saved. Funded by the Humane Society of the United States and its affiliate, the Humane Society International, 14 parks and reserves in South Africa currently use this technology. Delsink and her team hope that immunocontraceptive techniques will enable more reserves to proactively manage their elephant populations and help preserve this magnificent species. This is Jeffrey Barbie in South Africa for Link TV. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.